guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be unboxing my brand new Dyson Airwrap and I'm going to be doing a first impressions on this as well today because it's the first time that I will ever be using this um, and I'm super excited. So my hair is freshly washed, I've just come out of the shower and it's pretty much soaking wet still. Um, so by the time I've unboxed it might be a little bit drier so I'm just going to jump straight into today's video and see what we think of this new air app. So the Dyson air app that I got is the complete long one. This is the limited edition. It comes in this really beautiful colour and it comes with so many attachments and it just does so many different jobs. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay so... So this is what is in the box. It's a huge box and it's pretty heavy as well. So this comes in this absolutely gorgeous blue colour. Look how beautiful that is. It is such a beautiful box as well. Um, this is for you to store your air app when you're not using it. So I think that is really nice. Um, and it just looks absolutely beautiful. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So the first thing you get is just this little instruction leaflet thing um, that just shows you what each attachment is used for and different things that you can do with it. Now the exciting bits of this is how it comes. Honestly, I'm super, super excited for this. I can't tell you how happy I am to have this. So first things first, this is the main handle um, and the attachment goes on here. So let me just take this out. Wow, it comes with a really, really long cord from what I can see. So let me just open this up and check that. It's always good to have a really long cord because sometimes you buy appliances and the cords are just so short but this looks like it's a really good length. So let's have a look. Yeah, look at that. It's a super, super long cord. That's a really handy because sometimes you just can't find a plug socket close by um, and it is a struggle, but this is super long. So that is a plus straight away. And then this is the main part of the Dyson Air Wrap. So let's get this unwrapped. Wow, look at that colour, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you, it is such a beautiful colour, I absolutely love it. So beautiful. So there's these three uh, buttons on there, so it looks like one is just the on and off button but it's also got the cold shot um, there and then this is the heat side and this is I guess um, how fast you want the fan to go so that is that and I can tell you already I absolutely love the look of this it's it's gorgeous it really is so next up we have the barrels the curling barrels so you've got a thinner one and a thicker one um, just two different sizes and as you can see at the top here um, you just turn it left or right um, depending on which way you want to curl the hair so if you want to curl it away from your face you would turn it left and um, vice versa for the right. So that's a really good feature. I've never owned an air app before, but I have heard that the old one, um, they didn't have this option. So they just came with two separate barrels, one to turn right and one to turn left. But now that they have updated this version, um, it's just a lot easier. So that is that. I'm really happy with the length as well. Like I said, this is the long. You can just get the normal one. I think that's a little bit shorter, but this one is advised for longer hair. Um, so I got those in there as well. Then this is the next attachment. So this is actually a hairdryer attachment and it is a smoothing um, tool as well. So any flyaways that you've got at the top of your head and you want to smooth them out, um, apparently you use this bit here and it really helps to smooth those out. Um, and when you're drying your hair, I guess this is where the air comes out of. We'll have to test it out. But that is what this attachment is for. 
and then you get these two brush attachments as well they are just slightly different they are very similar and the the bristles do move like so um so i'll give you a closer look there and i think these are best if you want to straighten your hair if you want a really nice sleek finish um, and I believe one of them gives you that little blow dry effect um, to your hair. So we will be testing um, those out as well. And then the final attachment it comes with is this round brush. So this you can use um, to try and blow dry your hair as you would have done in the salon. Um, and yeah, the bristles are actually really nice and soft. So I don't think that would tug on your hair too much. So that is that. And then lastly, it does come with a little filter cleaner. It is advised that you clean your Dyson Airwrap out every now and then, so you keep it working really well. So that is really handy to have. And that is everything that we got in this box. Let me show you what the inside of this looks like. So there are compartments for each item. So here you would place your main um, Dyson handle and then over here you can put in all your hair attachments so yeah this case is actually super super nice it feels so luxurious and you would hope so as well because this is very very pricey and um, so I'm hoping that it does a super good job on my hair so I have to admit I don't enjoy doing my hair only because I have very curly hair and once it has dried completely it gets so frizzy and it's really hard to work with so I'm hoping that this cuts that time in half and just makes it super easy for me to do so I'm going to plug this in now and the first thing um, I'm going to do is use the drying attachment and we're going to start by drying my hair so let's go so before I begin I just want to say my hair has been freshly washed and it doesn't have any product in it I just wanted to try it out without any product in my hair just to see how well it works so I have brushed my hair out to make sure there's no knots and I'm going to attach this attachment on here and I think all you do is there's this button on the back, it's just a lock button. You just push it down and then you attach this on here. There we go, so that has now been attached and I'm just going to turn this on and see if it's loud because some hair dryers are so loud. So let's see how this is. Wow. Straight away, I would say that is so powerful considering it's only air coming out of this little part here, but it's honestly super powerful. So I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward me drying my hair with this. Guys. That did such a quick job. I'm so sorry for the way my hair looks, but this is how it dries. And that's why I do not enjoy styling it often because it just takes so much time and effort. But it has done a really good job. It was super fast at drying it. Look at how it dries. It's really thick and frizzy and I really do not like it. So next thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use one of the smoothing um, attachments. So I'm not sure which one out of the two. So this attachment is now on. And I'm actually going to part my hair. So I'm going to part half of it up, I think. And just get that out of the way. So I've just parted my hair. So I'm going to work on this lower half first. I'm using this smoothing brush to do that. just done the bottom half I did it super quick that didn't even take me a minute to do I'm not looking for the straight look or anything like that I'm just taming it a little bit and just making it a little bit smoother before we go in with the curling barrel so I'm just going to continue to do this with the rest of my hair and then I'll come back Oh, 
Okay guys, so I've just finished with this attachment here and I just literally um, smoothed out the hair compared to what it looked like before. Um, I didn't go too crazy with it because I don't want straight hair. I want to um, use the curling barrels. So I'm going to switch this attachment now to this one. So this is the dryer one that I use, but I'm actually going to use the smoothing tool just to get rid of any sort of flyaways that I might have at the top. And all you need to do for that is you just need to twist this until that bit just disappeared and it's now behind here. And we're going to pop this on now. I think that works really well if you can see it has definitely made it smoother at the top um, and my hair actually feels softer I don't know if that's in my mind but it really does at the top here can you see now we're going to get into the fun bit this is why I bought this air up so I'm going to remove this attachment out of these two I think I'm going to try out the thinner one first, um, see how this one goes. I just feel like trying this one. So um, let's pop this on. And I am going to part my hair because you want to do this in small sections for best results. So let me just part my hair. Hair is somewhat parted. And now, I'm going to start with this side first. So I'm not sure which direction it's facing at the moment. I'm just going to try it out um, and see if it is right. So I'm going to take a section about that wide or should I take a little bit more? Say this much. Yeah, I'm going to try about this much. So let's see how this goes. So I did hold it for a few seconds and then I hit it with the cool shot. Wow, that was super easy. Wow, that's all I have to say. That was so easy to do. I barely did any work because it just sucks in your hair. It wraps it around the barrel. So you don't even have to hold it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it again with another section. Guys, this is working so well and it's so quick and I feel like I'm not doing anything. Let's do the other side. So I'm going to part this into two sections and before I do that, I'm going to just turn this the other way and we're going to do it again. Honestly, I think I'm going to really like this Dyson. It's already doing so much for me. Guys, I think I'm obsessed, honestly. You don't understand how much time I spend doing my hair with my straightener. And the bottom half is done, wow. That was easy, so, so easy. So now I'm going to get some more hair and repeat that process and see how we get on how much should i take not that much tie the rest up at the top like that so i'm going to continue to do this and i will come back and show you when i do like the front the top Okay, guys. 
guys so that is how it is looking i didn't do a very good job of parting my hair and i was just struggling because i have so much hair i feel like it's not too long but it is very thick it always has been but i love the look that this gives it just gives a really nice blowout look um as if i've just been and had a blow dry at the salon but with these front bits i did want to try out this round brush and see if that works any better so i'm just going to switch the attachment over to this one and just try and work with the front bits of my hair so i have just fixed these front bits here i just used the um roller brush to do that um i just like them to just sit at the side there and now i'm just going to use my fingers and i'm just going to brush through my hair just to soften the curls a little bit because i don't like my hair super curly i just like i like it like this and Honestly, I think I do need lots of practice as I've heard from people who have owned the air app before. Um, practice makes perfect. You just got to get used to um, obviously the directions of the barrel and things like that. Um, but I am super, super happy with the final result. I think it looks very um, voluminous. It looks healthy. There's a shine to my hair, which I don't really have um my hair is pretty dry and like i said i don't have any product in it at the moment i think i might finish it off with just a touch of argan oil or um something on the ends there just to smooth those out but honestly i think i absolutely love it really big bouncy curls and this is the look i usually go for but i just use my um ghd straighteners to create that look and it does take a lot of time and effort um, and this was really easy to use. I mean, that's what I love about it um, from using it today. It's just so easy because all you need to do is take a section of hair and then it does the work for you. you know, it takes the hair, it wraps it around the barrel and all you need to do is just hold it there for a few seconds and then give it a shot of cold air for another couple of seconds and then you let it come down. I know these... Um, curls will drop a little bit throughout the day but i don't mind that um like i said i love this blowout look i think it looks really nice and natural as well um yeah, overall i'm super happy with this i think i'm going to get a lot of use out of it and it's just going to save me that stress of not having to do my hair um because it is taking most of the work out of my hands yeah i really love it and for the price you know you would expect it to do a really good job um it's definitely an investment um i have been wanting it for such a long time but i um I just didn't have the chance to buy it but my husband did buy this for me and i'm super happy and grateful for him um and i'm really going to enjoy using my air app so i hope this video helps um it was just a first impression i'm sure i will get better at it as i practice and play around with it a little bit more but for the first time ever i am super happy with the final result um now that you have seen what my hair naturally um, looks like, you can tell there's a massive difference from then and now. So yeah, guys, I really hope this video helped. I hope you really enjoyed it. And um, I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.